Hi, welcome to Pint Painting with Jacoby Art Center and Old Bakery Beer Company. I am your instructor, Jenna Muscarella, and I will be teaching you today how to paint buffalo plaid inspired by the oak can design brought to you by Old Bakery Beer Company. So we've also included two cans in your kit and two Old Bakery beer pint glasses so you can enjoy your beer while you're painting. So to get this started, you have two canvas in your kit, two or however many you signed up for in your kit. Um, you can choose either a heart or the Old Bakery beer logo, or you can actually draw your own shape and cut it out and use it as a stencil, or you can freehand something. It's completely up to you. Choose whatever you'd like. So we're just gonna start out first. I'm gonna make a heart and I am going to put it, you can place it wherever. You can put it in the side, you can put it down on the bottom, but I'm going to put mine in the middle. And hold on to it and trace. And you have your image on the canvas. I know it's kind of hard to see with my black, but okay, so you can put those aside. So the first thing we're going to do is actually tape our painting. Um, we already have this down, that's great. We are going to use the masking tape that's included in your kit. And I just have you going to put a piece down, as even as possible. You can just kind of see with your eyes, but if you're really meticulous about it, you can get a ruler and measure to make sure, but your eyes are just fine. So, Keep making a striped pattern with the tape. Oh, mine was too short. All the way across your canvas. And you can pause the video while you're doing this, just so that way you have enough time. No rush, you're at home. You can do this your own pace. If you keep making short pieces of tape like I am, no big deal. It takes a little bit longer, that's okay. So, complete this, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, we're back. So, I decided to change my tape a little bit. I didn't like how skinny they were. You can make them as wide skinny as you want. It's completely up to you. If you don't wanna put a pattern in the middle, you don't have to put a pattern. You can end up painting over it, up to you. So, the other thing you need to do is get a container and fill it with some water. And then I would suggest getting some paper towels handy because you want to wipe your brush off when you dip it in the water. So um, you have three different size brushes in your kit. You have a small liner brush, which is going to be used for smaller details. You have a medium flat brush, and then you have a thicker, bigger flat brush. Mine's a little bit rounded. I'm using some of my own favorite paint brushes. So, Set those aside. You are gonna first start out with your largest brush. So you also received black and red paint in your kit and it's sealed in a container. And you also received styrofoam trays. So you can pour the paint out on your tray. Just grab the spoon and dip a little bit of paint. Um, put the red to the side, the black to the side. We're gonna end up mixing it, but for now keep them separate and you can move the tape for now. We, we will need it later, but um, not just yet. So, okay, for the first step, we are going to do, well, pretty much for the buffalo plaid, you use all different variations of red and black mixed together. So, the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna mix a little bit of red, a little bit of black together. Um, so I would just take your spoon and you can dip a little bit of the red, and you can put a little bit of the black. The black's more powering, so I would add just maybe a little bit more red than you do black. Um, it just really takes over the color. And I mean, you wanna mix it, I'll get the right color for you to see. That's still even a little bit too dark. So we're gonna put a little more paint. So you can use your uh, spoon. I have the paint here, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. And you can keep mixing. You can use either your spoon to mix it. I would suggest saving your spoon and wiping it off. So after you scoop the red out, wipe it off. After you scoop the black out, wipe it off. So that way you can go back and scoop more because you will need to. So 
next, keep stirring. You can use the Q-tip that's in your kit. And what you want to achieve is just a darker red color. So something, you can see through the light, something like this, okay? So not quite red, not quite black, but a good mix in between. And if yours is a little bit different shade, no big deal, as long as it is different than pure black or pure red, you are in good shape. So go ahead and you're gonna take your big brush and start at the bottom and just start pulling along and pull towards you. Don't go back and forth, just take, so I'm going up and then pulling down, up, pull down, up, pull down. I'm not going back and forth. So up, pull down, up. And when you get to your shape, you can go slow and pull around it and the tape is okay to paint over. We're gonna remove it later and it's going to resist that area. And if you accidentally get out of the lines, just go back over it slow. So the trick to this is brace your hand down onto the table and put your brush at an angle and just pull towards yourself. And that just keeps it steady so you can go around the object. Um, if you want to use your smaller brush, to outline your object first, you can do that. So you just dip it in the paint and go slow. And again, I'm still bracing my hand. So that's just the important thing to do. Okay, so go around that. And you are going to just paint every area that you see black. Okay, so do this and you can pause the video, and I'll see you in a minute. Complete all the stripes, paint them, paint around your object. Leave this black. Wherever your tape is, that will remain black as well. Okay, so after you finish painting, you want to let it dry to speed up the dry time. You could take a blow dryer to it. You could put a heater in front of it, a fan. Um, I used a heater and so mine's pretty dry. It doesn't take very long. This paint dries really quickly, acrylic paint. It's very fast. Um, so if you want to go ahead and pause the video, you can do that now. Uh, otherwise, we will just keep going. So next step, you want to mix that same color up but first, we'll actually do that in a second. We're gonna reveal the paint. And so this is the fun part. It's all fun, right? And so you can just remove your tape. As always, if you need more time, you can pause your video, no problem at all. Okay, so the next step, like I said, you want to go ahead and mix up that same red and black combination that we did before. And remember that the black overpowers the red, so you want to add more red than you do black. And if it's a little bit off, no big deal, it makes it more interesting. So it, just as long as it's some variation of a red-black mixture. All right, next step, you are going to put horizontal lines across your canvas, so like this. So we are crisscrossing. You can Again, you can measure if you would like to. Otherwise, kind of guess. Make a good estimated guess. Okay, so I'm going to do this. And if you would like to go ahead and pause the video, 
you can do that. But I'm just going to add tape all the way down my canvas horizontally. Okay, so keep doing that all the way down. All right, so after you're finished with your tape, go ahead and mix that color up and you are going to just paint across like so. And remember, don't go back and forth. I'm just pulling. It looks like maybe I'm going back and forth, but I'm picking up my brush. I'm just going kind of quick. So do this. Skip around your shape. So you want to complete that slow motion. And again, if you need to, brace your hand. It makes it a lot more even. So make sure you go around, leave this black complete to the bottom and give your video a pause. So the next step, you're going to get your tape back and you're going to tape off every single horizontal row that has black squares. And then you're gonna tape off every single vertical row that has black squares. So I'll show you. <clears throat> so this row has black squares. Tape it off. Okay. This row has black squares. Tape it off. This row. Tape it off. And then complete. And then same for your vertical. So it's gonna be every line like this. So leave your top row, so that way you can see where you're going. So do just this one, and then leave that without tape. So let's go ahead and start doing vertical. So this vertical column going down has black square. This vertical column, this one and that one. So once you've done that and you've taped all of your columns and rows, you are going to paint. We need to mix up a color we haven't mixed up yet. So we are going to actually do a little bit lighter of a color, more of a red. So we want some red, so go ahead and scoop out just a, and go ahead and pause the video if this is too fast for you. But, go ahead and scoop out a little bit of red. And you may have a little bit of black left on your tray anyway, so if you don't, go ahead and get some. Finish taping this, and we are going to mix up, take some black, not much and you're just going to mix a dark red color it is just a little it's lighter than the original red and black mixture but it's still pretty dark okay so that's what you want and what we're gonna do, we will be painting all of these areas, these squares that are left over, okay? So don't forget to add a piece of tape on the last row. If you were to peel back one of these pieces, you would see this whole row needs a piece of tape because these are black squares here. They're just covered up because we needed it to see for our columns. Okay, so that's all finished. So now what you're gonna do is go ahead and mix that paint up your mostly red and a little bit of black. And you are gonna paint all of these squares that you see. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint it and notice, you know, it's not a crazy red, but it's got some darkness to it but it's the brightest color that will be on this canvas, okay? 
if you do too bright of a red, it may look kind of strange. Um, really, you can do this project with any color scheme that you want, but just be weary that, you know, it's always touch your colors beforehand. And so like, I just put some red down and it looks way too bright compared to the others. So I may just take a tiny, tiny bit of black on my brush and paint it in and that's still now dark. So I might add some more red to it. So you kind of have to play around with paint sometimes to get it the color that you want. But if you mix it ahead of time on your tray, you should be in good shape. So once you've done this, go ahead and let it dry again. Speed up dry, fan, blow dryer, heater. And then we have one last step if you choose to complete it. So finish that, pause the video, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, so the final step, we if you choose to, you don't have to do either of these things, but on mine, I accidentally painted on my heart, and I don't know if you did either, but we need to cover that up. So if you did on accident, no big deal. I'm just gonna, you can always fix mistakes in art. So I'm just gonna take some black paint and go back over my heart, and that'll actually make it pop out a little bit more too. So if you wanna do that, I think it makes it look a little bit nicer actually. So when you're finished doing that, again, you can pause the video if you need to. I'm gonna keep going. Um, I'm not gonna finish this heart, so we can just keep moving on. Paint that black if you'd like to just make it look a little, little bit nicer. Thank you for joining. Um, you can add any other finishing touches to your painting. Totally up to you.